Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Share this video out to the world, and I thank you very much for your support. Before I get into my One Punch Man Episode 3 review, I know some people have been asking me, where do I watch it? Well, One Punch Man is currently available 100% legal on Hulu, subtitled in HD. So just go to Hulu.com. Actually, I will leave you a link in the description to the Hulu page so that you can actually watch One Punch Man uh, on there, subtitled the right way. Also, Viz Media has gained the rights to dub One Punch Man, so we should be getting a One Punch Man English dub this year so we can look forward to that now one punch man episode three shunen no shagakusha which translates to the obsessive scientist the episode begins with the story of dr genus and really what's going on is the armored gorilla guy from episode two is, is giving the story of dr genus and how he came up and he cloned himself and they're kind of you know establishing right at the beginning of the episode who the antagonist is is going to be for this episode. And I really like that they take time to give a backstory on a lot of these monsters and villains. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Even though they might only be around for one episode, I really like that. I think they're making good use of their time. And, of course, this scientist has made cyborgs and things like that. So this episode picks up right where the last one left off. As I said, we just go right into it. And, basically, they want to go... Saitama and Janos want to go to... His laboratory, um, the House of Evolution, they call it. And it's funny because they're trying to figure out when to go. And Saitama's like, well, we need to go today because there's a big sale tomorrow. So they just, you know, Saitama and Janos just, just go there. They just go and we find out that Saitama cannot fly. So even though he has all those abilities, Saitama cannot fly. Keep that one in mind because I'm sure it'll come into play later. And of course, Dr. Genus wants Saitama for his experiment and the clones are still hanging around. So, it, of course, you know where this is going. Saitama and Genus show up and, of course, they have to battle one of the doctor's uh, monsters, which is this giant beetle guy. And the big fight takes place in this underground, like, laboratory type of place. Really reminds me of the Turtles episode uh, one. Well, it should be episode two when they went to the Technodrome. So this big fight takes place, and of course the android, the cyborg, gets his ass kicked. And but we find out the the big key with the episode is that we find out how Saitama got so strong, which has been built up for a while. He did a very strict training regimen of a hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups. 100 squats, if I remember right, 10 kilometers of running, and he also would turn the AC off in the summertime to uh, mentally make you mentally stronger. And everybody thinks he's lying, but Saitama assures all of us that, no, that's how he got so strong. So, of course, now it's a making fun of all of these shonen characters that train. I mean, that's what this show is. I know some people in the community... Haven't figured that out yet. One Punch Man is making fun of Shonen anime as, w as well as, you know, Shonen manga, of course, and S Super Sentai and everything Japanese. They're really parroting and making it into a joke, and I really enjoy it. So, of course, the Beetle transforms, which is what you can expect from this kind of thing. And as expected, well, first of all, he's taking it to uh, Saitama, but Saitama bounces back, which, I mean, he, this guy's just an animal. Kills him, and then he realizes, oh shit, like he realizes that after what the Beatles said, that the sale was actually that day. But then uh, Janos is like, well, sir, you know, Master Sensei, uh, we still have four hours, so they leave. And they just leave, and out the door, create a big hole, and the scientist is like, fuck this. So, fantastic, for, I just, I can't get over how great the show is, so much fun. Um, animation is fantastic. I don't think I need to tell you that anymore. Definitely check the show out. My review, thumbs up for this episode. My least favorite episode, though. I think episode one is my favorite. This is my least favorite. But next week, we got ninjas, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, leave your thoughts below on what you think about One Punch Man episode three. And uh, check it out if you haven't. And I'll see you all for the next one. I'll catch you down the road.